Hello, everybody. It's another 30 days of WrestleMania, and today we're doing a, doing a look at WrestleMania 8. Um, this is, again, we got back to the big arenas, um, and, uh, and kind of, to me, is sort of a cluster of a show. Um, Legion of Dune, don't wrestle, introduce their new manager. Uh, the title picture was all over the place. Um, you know, I really felt we saw Ric Flair and Macho Man uh, for the title, and I felt that it wasn't special anymore because I've seen it so many times in WCW. I just felt so deluded, right? Um, it, it seemed like a lot was missing from this show, and it's the first the first uh, WrestleMania that really kind of disappoints me. I, I mean, I always it was always intriguing to me. I remember watching because it, it was such a big deal. They did fill this place, the Hoosier Dome, um, but. You know, then your main event is is Hulk Hogan winning by disqualification, and everybody, including the Ultimate Warrior's return, comes out. I, I it was just such a cluster, and I, I don't know what the point of this. It's like it's like this was a WrestleMania that didn't have a clear focus, and 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 I think there was a bit, uh, you know, in interviews, Hulk Hogan saying, "Yeah, I don't know why we didn't have me and Ric Flair at WrestleMania," and I think that was the intention, and I think it would have been the biggest ever. I think maybe a lot of those tickets were sold based on that idea that it was going to be because they they did announce and they showed in the package that they announced that Hulk Hogan was going to be uh, the champ. And I, I don't recall why that is that they switched things up. Um, poor Tito Santana. I talked about how he got jobbed out so easily on WrestleMania seven. And here is El Matador and actually having a very serviceable match against uh, the up and comer of Shawn Michaels, who's now with Queen Sherry. I forgot how, how amazing it was her, her singing the, the original theme song of sexy boy uh, Undertaker really coming into his own. Uh, you know, I always, I always like, Maybe it just seemed like a forever back then, but I thought Undertaker was a bad guy for a lot longer than he was. Um, and of course, here he is, you know, taking on uh, Jake the Snake Roberts. Love the match between Roddy Piper and Bret Hart, the two friends, competitive, got real serious, you know, kind of thing. And really, I think mostly happened because, uh, if I recall from that Royal Rumble, uh, Bret Hart was deeply, deeply sick, had to drop the title to the Mountie, and then Roddy Piper picks it up. Um, but uh, but that that led to I think a better match than anything else they probably would have had planned. The eight man tag, Virgil plagues me again. Um, and again, celebrities we had uh, 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 Ray Combs, I, th I believe his name is from the Family Feud, was introducing to the eight man tag and just uh, hilarious introductions of the of the bad guys in that one. Uh, like I said, uh, Flair Flair and Macho Man, um, and and it's just so, such weirdness with Hulk Hogan. Like we got our Hulk Hogan victory moment, like we usually do, and there are just so many matches that just felt so, you know. Whereas I think the last, you know, the WrestleManias up to now just felt like they were full. You know, it felt like there was such good stuff and such classic guys, and this is where it got weird. You know, even even matches from guys that I remember loving, um, just were like, what am I doing here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and got weird you know uh but uh but i don't know it was it's 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 definitely a, this is the first kind of skippable one with wrestlemania 8 uh moving on to wrestlemania 9 which i know was very different and the one i know i watched several several times as a youngin as well so uh so stick around with this subscribe to us on youtube.com slash wrestling mayhem show or wrestling mayhem show.com to f pick up the 30 days of wrestlemania check out my other videos talking about as we're going through we're taking a blast from the past and uh seeing what we can do with this uh, until next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.